This is Glasgow Cathedral, the only pre-Reformation cathedral in mainland Scotland, and a place visited by many people, but many of them will miss some interesting things, as they don't wander around the outside of the cathedral. The front of the building and the side door of the cathedral where you enter it are all that most people see of the outside, but it's worth walking around it to find the other things it has. On the left there is a road, you'll see a wall, and if you follow it down there is an elaborate and colourful mosaic, looking like a carpet. Slightly further on, if you look at the wall of the cathedral, you'll find some graffiti carved on the walls. Some of it is just a name and date, but other parts are quite elaborate declarations of faith. Whoever did this took their time and put some effort into carving it carefully. The other thing you'll notice around the building are gargoyles. No, not those two, but up on the walls of the building. Most of them take the form of a dragon's head with a figure under the jaw though there are a couple that don't have the dragon. It's not obvious when they were carved, and you should be careful about assuming that they are all medieval, since at least two are modern. Some have been eroded by weather and pollution, those on the south side being affected the worst, with some being reduced to little more than stubs. Among other things are a woman and a baby, a bagpiper, a harpist, a devil, and some strange beasts. Keep your eyes open when you walk around to look at them, and perhaps take some binoculars to get a good view. You also need to be aware of where you put your feet at the east and south side, as the ground can be very uneven and has many tombstones lying in it, which could cause you to slip and fall. As you walk around the graveyard, you will notice some tombs with high railings around them. These might be decorative, but there is one that hints at something darker, as the bars cover the top of one grave. This is not to keep the dead in, but to keep the living out. In the 18th and early 19th century, there was a problem with grave robbing to supply bodies for dissection during medical training. Glasgow University used to be just down the street. Not that I'm suggesting a connection. Finally, you'll have seen the spire and perhaps noticed the weather vane, but you may not have noticed how shiny and golden it is. These are just a few things you can see wandering around the cathedral. If you look about, you might see something we missed.